we are living these social media days, it seems like the world is full of haters and uh, controversy, very polarized world about everything. But the only way to handle these things is to really face your haters and, uh, you know, like uh, face your life in general. And uh, it's better to live fast, live full, and how I would say, have two horns up. I'm really inspired by the, the LA scene because once you come to Hollywood, you come there to fulfill your dreams and rarely, you know, you, you know some, that happens. You know, some strip is also unfortunately, and mostly it is, a boulevard of broken dreams. That's very inspiring. And 27 and done, you know, like everybody wants to die young, everybody wants to, you know, be immortal, everybody wants to happen before it's too late. So that's the subject of the song. Nevertheless, whatever happens, we're gonna die young. Shyana is a, is a ghost story. Uh, it's, it's about uh, like a female ghost riding motorbike in the desert. It's, it's a little bit like a ghost riders in the sky. And uh, it's, it's just like a cool rocking song. And I thought Cheyenne is a beautiful name. And thinking of that when you go to the desert, you will see beautiful woman driving motorbike there. And when she comes closer, you realize she's the death. Truly we are living good days again 2019. Even Fangoria classic horror magazine started to come out. You know, like uh, it's a great days for us horror freaks. Yeah, and, and of course, as I was a horror freak, all dates back to the 80s. But you know, good times are here again. So the Six and I have been writing a couple of Wes Craven uh, movie inspired songs in the earlier days. I, I was somehow always inspired by the movie titles by him. So uh, we had a song called The Hills Have Eyes, for instance, in, in, in our history. So The Last House on the Left is once again another new Wes Craven uh, movie title song of the 69 Eyes. And this time it's like, it's, it's gonna blow your mind. It has Donnie Phil, Wednesday 13, and Calico Cooper there. I think it's the best horror punk rock song done for ages. I'm sure you guys are gonna love it. The only ballad on the album is called Death and Desire. Uh, and it's about the fact that once a while uh, you have these flames around you. Like we know, life is hell. So better just, you know, learn to love these flames and burn brightly. That's the main theme of the song. One of my favorite books as a kid was called Outsiders. It's this uh, uh, really, really cool teen rebel book about youth. And uh, I used to read about it like every summer, many, many times, over and over. And of course, there's a classical movie like Coppola of, of that from the 80s and uh, I really love the title Outsiders and, and portraying as, as uh, teenage rebels how they want to be outsiders of the society, classic theme. So I just wanted to use that title as the title of our song. Like Lost Boys, I, I wrote the lyrics for this song like referring, reflecting the movie Outsiders. Like 